Somehow I woke up at 4 a.m. and uh, I got sucked into working on my music stuff. <laughs> I finally watched the solo set video I made yesterday. It looks good. Took some uh, constructive criticism notes for myself, how I can improve my set. And then I watch the music video because I have to watch it every morning. And then I made this uh, whole thread on both threads and Twitter X about changing seasons. It's five parts and it kind of sums up um, my definitive thoughts on it. I think it's worth checking out. Um, it's brief. It's a one to two minute read. Go to either one. I have it pinned on the top of my profile at Alex Goff Rocks. And there's pictures and videos and time lapses included. And I think you will uh, have a better idea of what Changing Seasons is. It's, it's short. Um, then I made sure to add the pre-save link to all of my social medias. So now in the descriptions, bios, you're able to just click that link, um, which will take you to this page where you can choose to save it, pre-save on Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube Music so that when, your, uh, when the song is released on September 27th, 2024, you can... Um, I'm sorry, it will add straight to your library. And now it's 6.46 a.m. And the sun is about to come up and I feel like falling asleep. <laughs> I probably should, because I need to, I, I've been planning on going on a bike ride this morning. That's the thought in my head. Should I bike before going back to sleep or after? It feels, it also sounds right to say go on the bike ride and then totally crash, but you have to have a certain amount of starting point energy to do that. And I am feeling real. I'm going to go lay down. There's the update. What happened to me? Ever since COVID and my life was turned upside down, I've felt a little lost wandering in darkness with a few beacons of light like my idea to take guitar lessons and my idea to schedule meetings with um, an artist manager to really um, tell me how I can get more on track and um, it was really three months ago 98 days ago I decided I need to take this music thing more seriously. I need to cut alcohol completely out of my life. Not only, it, I mean, it, you, you party it up so you waste the night, you spend the money, you gain the weight. The next day you feel bad, you eat more food, you don't stay focused, you hardly get any work done if you get any work done at all. And your dreams completely suffer from it and I knew in the back of my mind it was a dream to be sober I have this vision of this ultimate version of me it's like I'm doing music full time I'm a rock star I'm sober I'm super sharp minded super healthy amazing physique and while you can't make the rock star part happen tomorrow i realized like wait a minute i can make the sober part happen tomorrow let's let one dream come true so 98 days ago i started tracking my sobriety a day after i drank alcohol and i've lost 15 pounds and counting. I've completely
completed a song. My arm's getting tired. I've scheduled a whole release, made a music video, remade the music video a second time when I realized how I could make it better. And I'm looking, I'm like fine tuning all my social media and it's all consistent now. And I look like a musician where there's like a single coming out and content coming out that looks cool. I realized making the music video gives me all these super cool pictures I can post. And so before, I would just be like sitting in front of the computer like what can I post maybe a picture of my guitar um, or maybe my album again <laughs> my debut album cover well now I have this huge library of photos from just this one song so I was just realizing this morning when I was looking at my social media that DFW airports just like plane after plane after plane and it's not gonna stop so I'm gonna get used to it now um, realizing on my social media this morning man like it looks like things are active like the ball is rolling like instead of just seeing some like edited together pictures I can make in my computer now it's like awesome pictures of me rocking out and there's more info and like who I am and what I'm doing and I, I used to have this long paragraph explaining who I was and I just backspace it all and just wrote I record all the instruments in my music and it's just like I think it's just, it makes more sense. It's cooler. It's just like to the point. It interests people. Nobody's going to sit there for the paragraph. It um, taught me something actually when I gave my card to Gene Simmons and it used to have a big paragraph on the back. And I remember him being like, looking back, like angling his head back to try and focus his eyes on all the tiny print. And I, I knew he was thinking like, man, this is impossible to read. Like I, I knew it just overall just didn't feel like the right thing. And um, so sobriety has led to more than just what I thought. It's like significantly making the ball roll. More dreams come true. I'm looking better. I'm not afraid to video or take pictures of myself as much anymore. And that looks really good on social media. I look great. I feel great. I have all this energy. Um, and I'm bouncing off the walls and all this extra time now is put into music. So I'm getting like all this grunt work that would just be like impossible hungover. Um, I'm like just making it happen all this extra time. I'm spending Friday nights, Saturday mornings, Sunday morning, Sunday all day long, Saturday all day long, just in the studio, nonstop working on stuff, fine tuning stuff. I can't imagine how many extra hours I've put towards guitar and, um, and the music business side just because this decision. And it just, I feel like when I look around here and when I stand here, uh, before it used to be like the trees were kind of neutral with me. Like you can do whatever you want, it's your life. But now it feels like the trees are positive towards me. Like, like you're making this happen and we're working with you. It's just like, and I don't mean just the trees. I just mean everything around me is just this feeling like working with me instead of a neutral neutrality. It's, it's more like, it's, I don't know how to describe it. And it's only been three months. And I'm just making the point that like, I changed my goals too. I just want to be a musician releasing stuff. I just want people to know I'm a musician. And that goal is coming true. So if this much can change in three months, what happens in six months, nine months, 12 months? I mean, I'm starting to interact with strangers on Instagram that really like my vibe and I'm putting a bigger, now that I've kind of tested things out these last few weeks, I'm putting a bigger plan in place on how to really get the ball moving. I've, I've come to understand just these last few weeks, the differences between YouTube and TikTok and Instagram more than ever, um, and how I wanna interact and engage with those different audiences. I, I finally have a feeling on like who, who is where and what is who. <laughs> so I guess, yeah, my next three months, if I can envision it, it looks like this. Um, my followers will spike when my song comes out, 
a lot of people will really enjoy what I have to offer. It will be a unique thing that people don't see as much. And there will be a campaign to save rock and roll. Um, I am working with someone right now to schedule a show. First time back on stage since 2019. So this um, next quarter of sobriety will be starting to get out there. There will be another song. And that will also spike followers. I think this three months is all about getting the ball rolling. And the next three months will be about continuing the ball rolling. And then after that, the the third three months will be about like, okay, how can I make this thing way bigger now? And then that will be the continuous goal, I assume. I don't know for sure. I don't know how things will change, but um, until I can do it full time. And I just have this feeling like within a year or two, it's like easily within my grasp now, grasp. And it, like where I started this video talking about being lost in the darkness and kind of wandering and not having a great idea. Now my goals just feel clearly defined. I feel like there's a straight, clear path that I follow. Um, and that path is just like sobriety, work it, crank it out, keep doing what I'm doing already. Make it look awesome, get a little bit better along the way, better at music, better at videos. And before, at my pace, it might have taken me like 60 years to get music full time. And now that I've just like slightly fine tuned and adjusted things, um, I feel like it's like significantly going to speed that pace up by decades. I look at pictures of myself three months ago and I'm like, that's a totally different person. Um, look at that guy. And I know all the thoughts that that guy was having of just like not being content and wanting things to change and like more insecurity. Insecurity is a good thing. You don't just tell someone stop being insecure. They need to actively make changes. Insecurity is a part of the things you're doing wrong. You can't just tell someone to stop being insecure. There's no such thing, it's fake. You you stop being insecure when you fix the things that make you insecure, and it takes time. A doctor once told me, it's like uh, about recovery on things. He was talking about it, like a physical recovery, but this applies to uh, anything like this in life. It's like spilling a can of paint. How quickly do you spill the can of paint? versus how long it takes to clean that back up again. And that's what um, life has a lot. And it's all about overcoming that and um, just getting the job done. Um, I look at those pictures and I'm just like, what happened in the last three months? I'm like a totally different person. And that guy from three months ago was the same guy that was like lingering on for years and years. Like I was that guy for five, six, seven years. Just like, how did it, I let it go on that long? But I don't spend much time after that really thinking about it. I just, I'm happy I made the decision now. I'm only 27. Year's halfway over. My birthday's December 23rd. So uh, I've got another half of a year in September. So a few more months of being 27. I mean, by the time I'm 28 and a half, there will be a lot of progress. I mean, I I think it's safe to say uh, by the time I'm 30, things will really be rolling and that, that makes me feel good about life. I was really worried that nothing would happen by the time I'm 30 and it would be a big um, increase of anxiety. So um, that's what happened to me. What do you think? Have you noticed change in me? And what do you think about yourself? Are you, do you still have that feeling you know deep inside that you still need to change something? Let's get the conversation going and let's save rock and roll.